All right, this is Algebra 2, Lesson 104, page 430, page 430. Okay, difference between rational and irrational. All right, an irrational number is a number that doesn't have repeat decimals and it doesn't end in terms of decimal places, like pi square root of three. A rational number is anything else. It's like three-fourths. It can also be 0 0.123. That decimal ends. It terminates, right? Or it can be like 0 0.123, where 3 repeats. Those are all rational numbers, and, and these are what we're going to learn how today to write as a fraction, as a ratio of numbers. Now, if the decimal terminates, that's the easiest. All right, so example one on page 430. So we're writing all of these as ratios. If the decimal terminates, easy peasy. You just write it over one, line up your decimal places, same number of zeros, and then just eliminate the decimal. See what I did? Okay, I took the original decimal. Anything over one is what? Itself. Itself, that's right. So once I put it over one with the same number of decimal places, it's as though I am multiplying this, both the numerator and denominator, by 100,000. Can I multiply, what's 100,000 over 100,000? It's one. It's one, right? It's as though I'm multiplying this by 100,000 over 100,000. That's how many zeros I have here. To move this decimal place, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, so you just moved the decimal place. I just really dropped it. And you know, yes. And so how did you know where to, how, where to move the decimal place with the, bottom, the denominator? Uh, okay, so I lined this up, right? For every number in the numerator, I wrote a zero below it. And those are the zeros you kept, potentially? And this is the zeros I kept. So then I eliminated the decimal place. So if it were point zero point zero two five eight, then I'd write one point and four zeros. So it would be 10,000. So it would be 258, right, over 10,000. Now, these can be simplified because they're both even numbers. Sometimes your calculator will simplify it. Sometimes your calculator will not simplify it. So then you have to simplify it on your own, like dividing both of these by two, dividing the numerator by two, the denominator by two. All right, so you, you do want to simplify your answers. All right, now, what if we have repeat decimals? What if we have a rational number that has repeat decimals? How do we write it as a ratio? All right, remember how we multiplied that one? By how many decimal? One, 10 times however many decimal places there were. This one is going to be a little different. Like when we take 0 0.123 over 1.123, we're really multiplying it by 10 times how many, 10 to the power of 3. Right? Are you with me on that? Because, because we're really moving the decimal place. I just want to understand why you're like, it doesn't matter what's uh, on the top. 
on the top? Yeah. Because like you said. As long as it terminates, ends, doesn't keep going, okay. and is not repeat. It's, it's not the same number. It is so, the same number. But it's not. Okay, but it is. All right, so if you put 0 0.123, right, that's the number, right? And then you put 123 over 1,000. Put this in your calculator. You're going to get that same number. Because what is this? This is 123 thousandths. Isn't that what this is? 123 thousandths. If you just type in 0 0.123 and hit equal, it gives you the fraction. Not that I would do If that. you, right, if you do, um, that's 15 what? If I were just to read the number, 15 10 thousandths, right? Just eliminate the decimal. It's 15 over 10 thousand. So really the, the, the number tells you what the fraction is. So what I get from this is it doesn't matter if it makes sense as long as I understand how to do it. It does make sense. Okay. <laughs> if it makes sense to him. That's kind of how I'm not you know the steps. I, I you know the steps. I understand how to do it. Understand how to do it. That, that is important. So I want you to contemplate then how to do it over the Because if you're ever faced with that problem and you can't move the steps and you know how you're supposed to get there. Right. It is important. Understanding is important. Okay. So when we have decimal placers, we're effectively multiplying 10 to the power, and the power is the number of decimal places, right? It's different when we have repeat decimals. Um, like example three. 0 0.01623. So we have two places that are repeating. Okay, so here's where you follow the procedure. I think this is clearer. This may feel a little muddier, okay? So you're just gonna write the number as it is. The number, what is the number? It's 0 0.01623, and I could keep writing, but it just goes on and on, right? Do you agree with that? That's what the number is. What are the rules of algebra? Can I take any equation and multiply every term by the same number, and do I change the equality? I don't, do I? So that's what I'm gonna do. Without changing the equality of this, I'm gonna multiply this equation by 10, and now my power is gonna be how many repeats. So I'm gonna multiply this entire thing by 10 squared. Is there a reason to do 10 squared? Yes, there is, because that's how many repeats I have. There are two repeats. So if there's three, you can do 10. If there was three, you're going to do 10 cubed. All right? So now I'm going to change 10 squared to 100, because that's what 10 squared is, right? And I'm going to write it above it. So that's 100n equals. When I multiply it by... This, this one by 100, it moves the decimal place to the right two. So I'm going to line up my decimal places. 1.6, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, and so forth. Okay, now I'm going to er erase what I just did. But that's what I just did, right? So that you can see this. Now I have two equations. Are these two equations equal? Yes. What did I do? I took this bottom equation, I multiplied it by 100, and I got the top equation. Yeah. You divide it off of the other? Now I'm going to subtract them. Subtract them? I'm going to subtract them. It's all over. Yes. So 100n minus n gives me 99n. 
My equal sign stays in the middle. What happens from this point out? What is this equal? Nothing. Nothing. All zeros, right? Zero from here on out. So I'm not even going to subtract from here back because it all be zeros. Make sense? I mean, I could, but who wants to write a bunch of zeros out here? All right, so I'm going to start subtracting here where the numbers are different. Make sure your decimal places are lined up. All right, so I'm going to borrow from the two. 13 minus 6 is 7. 1 minus 1, 0, 6.1. So now I have 99n equals 1.607. Now you divide? Oh, I'm going to divide both sides by 99. When I write 99 over here, I'm going to write 99.000. Because isn't that 99? Uh, isn't that the same thing? Why wouldn't you do 9.90? Because it's 99, not 9. Like, I understand why you did it, but also you could just put 99. Right. I could. Because the form is asking you to put it in. I could have written 99 and then just multiply by 1,000 over 1,000. Right? So what's your answer? No, I'm just going to eliminate the decimals. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did I do? I moved the decimal three to the right in the numerator, three to the right in the denominator. Look what that equals. This, this repeat decimal equals this ratio. And then you would simplify if you could. Seven and seven is 14. Three doesn't go into it. You could put that in your calculators and simplify. Can okay. you just do this in your calculator? Or you cannot. Because you can't put repeat decimals in your calculator. But it's two equations. All right, let's do another. What you want to get out easy. Correct. Yeah, except you can't really Google when you're taking a test. You have a calculator, though. Correct. All right, let's do the next one. 104.4. So now we have 1.0031, and our repeats are 5, 4, 3. That's our repeats, 5, 4, 3. All right, so we write the number. What is the number equal? 1 point. Wait, what is this? Um, 4, I believe. 1.0031. When I get to my repeats, I'm going to write them a couple of times, but I just know it goes on and on and on. What am I going to multiply this number by? 10 cubed, because there's three repeats, right? So one with three zeros is 10 cubed. All right, so I end up with a thousand in. What happens to this decimal point? It moves three to the right. So one, two, three, that means it's between the three and the one. I always make sure my decimal places are lined up. So I have one, oh, oh, three, one, five, four, three, five, four, three, Five, four, three. Your five, your repeats always line up at some point. If your repeats do not line up, you've multiplied by the wrong number. So from here back, I know that just equals zero. And then I subtract. You're always going to end up with all nines here. Always. It's going to be 9. It's going to be 99. It's going to be 999. It's going to be 9,999 because you're always taking a factor of 10 minus 1. So here we end up with 999n equals, then I subtract. 3 minus 1 is 2. That's 1, 5, 1, 2. Wait, what did you put? Uh, 
I'm not sure what matter, but why do you put three sets of uh, repeating numbers on the top and two on the bottom? Um, just to write the same number of, of repeats as I did on the, so that everything lined up. But they're already lined up because the decimals are aligned. Right, I, I didn't have to write this one. It doesn't matter because wherever they start, it's, it, you're not That's correct. The first one is where you're just going to ignore from there to the right. I just always like to have the same put number of places as I do in the top and the bottom. So it, looks it Yeah. All right, so now I divide by 9.99 on both sides. When I divide on the right, I'm going to put 9.99 a decimal and some zeros. And then eliminate the decimal. It says, though I'm multiplying actually by 10,000, right? I'm moving the decimal to the right, four on both of those. 1002, 1512, over 999. One, two, three, four. Those are both even numbers. I don't think your calculator will simplify something this big. Let's see if three goes into them. Let's see that's three and six and three. So three goes into both of them. All right, so what's this top number divided by three? Somebody do that. The bottom number I can easily do. <laughs> Okay, it's still divisible. Let's see that's that's nine. Nine and four is thirteen. Thirteen and six is nineteen. Okay, I don't know what it's, it's divisible by. Nicole, please don't put these on our <laughs> Don't yeah. be on your next test. Wait, do we have this? We don't no, have a next no. test. So the okay. next test is the final. Yeah. I don't know if your calculator will simplify this. Okay, we all, it's, it's logic. All right? This is logic. Do we, do we have to simplify it? I assume okay, we... if you don't simplify it, I'm okay. But you can't not simplify on any test in college. They're going to work it wrong. Because you know what a TA is doing? Well, there we go. You know what a TA is doing? A TA... All he does is look at the numbers. Is look at his. That's right. He doesn't necessarily know how to work these problems. You're not allowed to give half credit for anything. I thought professors grade tests. Oh no, sir. No professors grade tests in college. Okay, I, that shouldn't be a blanket statement. Most do not. Most of their TAs do. In fact, Adam Hall has a class. His professor has never responded to an email. Ever until Adam Paul complained. If they don't, then why is that you can like email your professor about a grade? Okay, well Adam Paul did. He had an A minus midterm and he <laughs> he calculated wrong. his it's just like you. He calculated his grade. Well an A minus is a three point seven. Yeah, it's not a at LSU. In college. And he had an A midterm. And this professor has not responded to anything. He's not seen his professor, except on video, not even on Zoom. All the professor does is load lectures. So he doesn't know what he looks like? Only oh, because he loads he lectures, like. right? He's retiring. This is his last semester. Yeah. His TA is graduating. TA calculated his midterm wrong. Who would want Adam to Paul recalculated it for him, sent it to him, and anyway, it's been an ordeal. If he makes an A, that's money. Grades. Yes. Yes. Um, is he, so, is he also a civil. He's in civil. Um, so, 